24 or 25 feet. We have taken any action, then yesterday uh, the president will not happen. This is a four-page order. Do you think how much time will it take to prepare this? Understanding the legal positions? It is your duty, sir. It is my duty. Right. Hi everyone. Uh, today we are actually issuing the order uh, regarding the uh, transportation uh, limits uh, within the Tula town area. This is uh, keeping in mind the recent accidents that have happened which have led to uh, grievous injury. Uh, both tragic incidents which have led to grievous injury to two of our residents from the Tula town area. And uh, in keeping in mind uh, those tragic incidents as well as the growing population within the Tula town necessitating that we put a limit to the travel uh, that happens here. We have issued uh, guidelines uh, order under 144 uh, regarding limitation of these vehicles. So starting uh, if, uh, immediately, all the heavy vehicles which are above 9 metric tons uh, to 10 metric tons, technically based uh, the 10 uh, tire and above trucks will not be allowed to enter the Tula town area even during the nights. All vehicles which are uh, light and medium uh, uh, goods carriage vehicles will between 2.5 metric ton loading capacity to uh, 9 metric ton loading capacity uh, technically are 6 tyre trucks uh, will be allowed to enter the Tula town area only during the night time from 9 pm onwards till 6 am. Uh, they will not be allowed at during the daytime specifically is something that we would like to highlight very importantly here to everybody. Uh, this however is exempting the uh, public, the heavy passenger vehicles. Uh, which, for example, are public buses which are carrying the passengers to and fro from the town area. Also, the government vehicles, which are heavy vehicles, which are doing uh, either a government duty or are uh, government vehicles itself. They both will be exempted from this category. However, uh, we are assigning the duty and responsibility of the officer in charge of these offices to ensure that their drivers are well equipped and well trained to carry out operations within the town area with these vehicles. And this order goes. Uh, for the entire uh, West Garo District, so uh, they also have to ensure that uh, the drivers are well trained and well equipped to handle these vehicles in any part of West Garo District under the jurisdiction of this district. This is regarding the limitations. We are also uh, putting in strict adherence uh, instructions to both our district police and our district transport officials uh, regarding the entries of these vehicles in the town area even during the restricted period for which the checkpoints will be set up at uh, three different entry locations within the town area. Uh, for the vehicles coming from uh, Rongram, for the vehicles coming from Balongre side and for the vehicles coming from Dubasi Pala side. So checkpoints will be set up by the district police uh, along with in, and in coordination with the district transport office and so that they can maintain the transport and uh, passage of these vehicles in the town area for the time to come uh, till the order is in force. Uh, moving forward, we have uh, ensured that uh, in the order we are putting in strict uh, adherence uh, to the norms of the uh, to the rules and regulations that are mentioned under the Motor Vehicles Act against overloading and overspeeding of vehicles in of all vehicles uh, under any category within the uh, West Garwell district. There is also a specific mention of uh, drunk driving. Uh, the traffic police has to ensure that uh, they have breath analyzers so that they are able to check on any drunk drivers and then subsequently send them for medical checkups and compounding and uh, chalaning under the MV Act uh, subsequently from there on. Uh, this has been uh, done along with uh, putting in responsibilities to various functionaries of the district. Uh, we are, will be uh, following up strict traffic rules uh, which will include uh, wearing of helmets for uh, both the driver and the pillion for two wheelers and the wearing of seat belts. Uh, for the uh, four-wheeler uh, vehicles which are traveling around. Uh, we also are uh, asking the PWD department to uh, initiate activity to put up uh, safety signages, reflective strips and uh, uh, speed breakers in the Tura town area so that any uh, harm that can be uh, stopped or that can be halted uh, with the help of these elements can also be taken up from our side immediately. Additionally, with the responsibilities, we have set out responsibilities for the public to ensure that they are in strict compliance of the traffic norms and the rules and regulations that are set out by both the state and the district administration as well as the central government through the MV Act. Uh, the uh, responsibility has also been uh, put upon all the drivers to ensure that they are carrying all the requisite papers, they are well trained and they are well aware about uh, all the traffic norms and rules and regulations in the town area. And lastly, we are also putting a responsibility on the deputy commissioner as a district administration 
uh, under this order to ensure that any such accidents which have happened resulting in a grievous hurt and in worse scenarios in tragic incidents of death uh, that there is a claim settlement officer in the office of the deputy commissioner where uh, the family of the victim can or the victim themselves can come for a claim in, uh, for the claim against the injury that has been caused due to uh, no fault of their own we additionally uh, will the deputy commissioner office will also be responsible for processing any exceptions to the uh, permissions that have been uh, that shall be given to the heavy goods vehicles uh, to the heavy goods vehicles which will be plying uh, during uh, either the day time or vehicles above 9 metric ton which uh, need to ply through the tour down during the night time so in cases of exceptions for commercial activities either in the tour town area or in an around tour town area which is accessible only through the town uh, premises then uh, permission of exemptions uh, or this sorry the exemptions will be processed to the deputy commissioner's office this however keeps outside uh, the uh, vehicles which are uh, large vehicles uh, but are uh, regularly utilized for example a fire brigade vehicle or a recovery van uh, including big ambulances if required which may come under the purview of heavy vehicles but heavy passenger vehicles rather but are essential to the functioning of uh, our tour town area so i will recommend that uh, everybody kindly go through uh, the order that has been issued by my uh, by uh, our office and uh, check on the provisions and we would urge to all the citizens to ensure that not themselves but their family members the compatriots the neighbors they also with them are following due norms of the traffic uh, regulation that have been enshrined in the laws lastly uh, much of this traffic uh, congestions much of the traffic violations uh, can be stopped by uh, ensuring that we do not do half as our parking do not do lane crossing and do not do reckless reckless driving in the tura town area we are a small town and we need to ensure that we have strict protocol regarding traffic and that we follow it in letter and spirit in all times possible so uh, my best wishes to everybody uh, through this medium and uh, if there are any recommendations we will be very happy to take them in uh, you can always drop into my office and share your recommendations with me